Winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. Hi, Rob. Morning, Daria. So what gives? Because you were saying stocks were struggling, but retail sales look great. That's what gives. Um, stocks are struggling because we want the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates to make mortgages cheaper, to make loans cheaper, to make credit cards cheaper. But retail sales are strong, they're hot, which basically implies inflation or no weakening of demand. Mm. So that's what gives. Um, ultimately, we're probably, instead of seeing like a, a March, April cut in interest rates, we're now talking maybe June, July, uh, because the data is just too hot. Mm. Um, and that's okay. Uh, gives you time to buy more at lower prices. Uh, oil's lower today, kind of on this news. China's doing a lot of stimulus right now, and that's not going to do anything other than um, it's not going to create demand. It's going to create more product, which will cut prices, which is, in theory, good news for us, but not necessarily good news for them. You were talking about demand. Now, I remember during COVID, having yeah. alcohol delivered to homes was yeah. in demand. I, I, I mean, I always, whether Guilty. it's groceries or alcohol, I can go get it myself. But so what's going on with that marketplace now? Um, Uber has decided to sell, not to sell, but to close Drizzly. Drizzly was a company that they bought three years ago in the height of the pandemic for $1.1 billion. Uh, we just kind of started creating more and more stuff to be delivered to us, and alcohol was a category. Uber's still going to deliver alcohol. They're just going to do it through Uber Eats and oh. kind of fold it all in. They also bought a company called Postmates that I expect them to fold into Uber. So we don't uh, need them called different things is what you're saying, but there's still the demand is there? The, the, still the demand is there. It's really kind of crazy because whenever my my spouse gets the um, Instacart order mm -hmm. or orders stuff, I'm like, don't order alcohol because that, that drives up the bill. Oh, um, right. But, but And then she tips 15%. I'm like, you don't have to tip 15%. <laughs> you know, it balances out because I know that you're um, fairly tight with the purse strings, right? Yes. So <laughs> you've got to keep the economy going. You have to inject. You have to inject your money. Wait, but keeping with that delivery uh, versus going and getting it yourself, what about you have something a little deeper in the report about online grocery sales that yeah. they're not doing so well? Um, there's kind of mixed numbers in it. Okay. Do you do online delivery no, of groceries? Absolutely. Okay. I just go get it. I want to see the melon, and even though I pick out bad melons, but I want to pick them <laughs> up myself. I hear you on that. And some people actually like talking to people. I'm the opposite. Um, you can pick out my melons, and if I don't have to talk to people, it's even better. Mm. Um, E-commerce grocery is what we're talking about. $95 billion category last year, down about 2.1%. There's three prospects or three angles of e-commerce grocery delivery mm -hmm. where someone shops for you right now pick up where someone shops for you and you go pick it up at the store in the parking lot okay. and there's also like shipped and think of that like as amazon um mm. i haven't bought toilet paper in a grocery store in years because i have amazon deliver it to me if they ship oh, it to me. well you just need to go to costco because i i have like a, an, enough for a like a bank vault you know costco's installing scanners now yeah um to stop you from bringing me and me from saying, hey, Daria, can I use your membership and get toilet oh, paper? I didn't think it was that easy, frankly, to cheat that. I, I, you know, I mean, your picture's right on it. Yeah, I just, I think uh, oh. they don't want the friend coming in. Yeah, and saying, well, it's, not, so. it's expensive. Well, plus anyway, you back need to it. the story. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got these different angles to like the, the online grocery shopping. So purchasing power stinks. We've known about inflation last year, and my grocery bills, you know, maybe for a dinner for two nights was used to be like $150 I can get away with. Okay. Now it's like $200. So people are doing less delivery of food because they're trying to save money, do a little bit more economy shopping. Um, pickup makes up about 46% of e-commerce grocery. Delivery makes up about 37%. Mm. And shipping it is about 17%. All still pretty good numbers. Um, and again, surprising how many people do use it. Last yeah. night I had to be at a soccer game in San Francisco in the rain. Okay. Um, spouse had to pick up the other kid. And so we were like, let's do online delivery of groceries. Yeah, um, that makes it's sense. It's so convenient. Okay. It's, it's, not, it's not a wise expenditure. I get it. But it's so convenient. It, yeah, I mean, and I get that scenario. Um, just quickly, too, I, you say uh, Samsung is number one. I, I just assumed iPhones were the biggest seller. I guess they have the best marketing or something. Because it, yes. it's not the Samsung case. Samsung phones are cheaper. Okay. And there's billions of people on this planet who prefer cheap over expensive. But last year was the first year in about 13 years that Apple overtook Samsung. They sold 234 million phones. Samsung sold 226 million. 
that's a nice story for Apple. Uh, but they're getting their head handed to them recently because the um, sales in China aren't great. And, um, you know, the Vision Pro goes on sale in early February and they're they're hoping Disney can get a lot of content made for that Vision Pro headset. Uh, a lot of expectations are riding on where do they find growth in the future. Okay. Well, we shall see. Thank you, Rob. Thanks, Daria. If you have a question for Rob, you can email him or reach him on Facebook or X.